there's this cool thing that we learn from babies that babies when they're in their learning state it's called relaxed and alert so it's not just you know or vigilant right. it's relaxed and alert and that is a state that each of us can cultivate with our breathing and it's something that everybody if you learn that it's something that you really can take charge of that makes an enormous difference in your ability <laughs> to solve problems in your ability to meet life in your ability to generate creativity and decide what you're wanting to do and what you're wanting to contribute it's really central I like that I like that a lot um, how do you start doing this practice with the breathing? I mean, I, 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 you mentioned that it's been, you know, something that you had to practice. Can you give us some tips and tools as to like how to remember to do this, and then you know how how to? Sure. The um, the thing that I like to remind people to do is that your breathing starts with your moving. And if you take care of your moving and move in a certain very simple way, that opens up a vital kind of breathing and your breathing will kind of take care of itself. So most people do not move their spines. And that becomes a real problem for people as they get older because it cuts you off from your vitality, from your sexual feelings, from your ability to and to feel grounded to let yourself get that movement is to think of your spine as um, a piece of seaweed that's undulating in the ocean and you're, what you're wanting Ooh, okay. to create is a gentle arching and rounding that's the only movement that your body really needs to make that will create the movement of your breathing. So most people keep their spines either pretty rigid or they're collapsed. Those are usually the two that people choose or they're way out ahead of themselves. So they're, you know, going through life like this. So the the if you're if you who are watching, if you're seated, if yeah, you I let do, yourself I want to do this with you. Great. Okay, here we so go. So everybody get yourself <laughs> Okay. seated and you'll notice that even in this chair see I'll turn it around a little bit see I'm not sitting back in my chair I'm sitting forward in it so that I've got my feet on the floor and I've got my um, legs like in a triangle so I haven't got my legs close together I've got my knees kind of in a triangle and I can feel my sits bones under me those are the bones that are at the bottom of your pelvis and if you sit on those, that's what you're going to be rolling over those and rolling back. So you're going to be rolling your pelvis forward and you're going to be rolling your pelvis back. Now notice that, I can feel that. I'm, can you feel that? Yeah. So I can feel what, that. What, yeah, I can feel it. Yay! Like the, the, yay! The, 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 yay! <laughs> the fluidity. <laughs> I can feel a different yes. level of just that sit bone piece alone yes. really changes the way my spine can move. I'm noticing yes. that's awesome. Yes. And it's a very okay, simple movement. It's primarily with your pelvis. So mm -hmm. I like to sometimes have people put one hand on their low back and one hand on their belly. And then you're going to be still be seated, but you're going to be rolling toward your front hand and then rolling toward your back hand, and then rolling toward your front hand, and rolling toward your back hand. Now, the other thing I yeah. want to encourage you to do is to really slow it down. So, you, uh, you know, if you think of a really um, a wave where it's more like a lake wave than an ocean wave that is kind of just lapping into the shore. There's a, an easy rhythm. And for most people, it's going to be slower than you think. So when you're practicing, just that rolling, you know, rolling forward and rolling backward. Now, if you let the rest of your spine go ahead and follow that, 
So when you're rolling forward, you're getting a slight arching in your yeah. back, and then when you're rolling back, you get a slight rounding. And if you just let that happen, so you're arching and rounding. That's basically the movement, is arching and rounding. And you stay in your comfort zone. It's really important to stay in your comfort zone so you're not creating any pain or any little twinges. You want it to be a pleasurable experience. Because if you're moving in that way, what will happen is when you're arching, that draws your in-breath. And when you're rounding, that expels your out-breath. So you literally don't have to think about your breathing. Your breathing will take care of itself. You don't have to count or breathe in and out through your mouth or your nose. You just let your breathing happen as you're doing that. Now, do you find that you're experiencing some more fluidity with that, Zen? Oh, absolutely. So I feel more flexible. And I was actually, I'm having, was having pain in this shoulder. I was just moving it a little bit. And doing mm -hmm. this actually has really released a lot of that pain that I was kind of having in here. Um, yeah. And, you know, also, it makes it very easy to breathe when I'm doing this. And, um, and yeah. I'm noticing I'm feeling a little lightheaded. <laughs> I have to be honest. Right. A little... and, Sure, Ooh, that happens alive, for, or, yeah, yeah. Well, when when you're when you first are getting more oxygen than you're used to, you can get a little, you know, spacey or dizzy. What we tell people is just to go, take your mind off it for a minute, do something else, don't think about your breathing, let your body settle. And the other thing I want to encourage you to do, um, also since because people are watching you, is if you slow your breathing down when you're practicing this so that you're really you know it, if you were counting it would be a kind of a four count you know you'd be rolling forward two three four and back two three four so it's a lot slower than people think and when you learn how to do this you can do it more and more subtly so for, for me now, as I've practiced over the years, I'm really moving my spine all the time. Because what I notice is that when people are stuck, you know, whether they're stuck, they feel bad or they're angry or, you know, they're stuck on a problem, they're not moving. And if you're not moving, you're not breathing. And then that gets you into that panic adrenaline mode and you kind of spin out and there's a very quick way that you can shift that just in the moment which is to start that movement again that easy arching and rounding and then that brings you back into connection with yourself and connection with your breathing and a feeling of connection with both your deep insides, but also with the world around you and the support of the world around you. So it's a very cool move that you can make, you know, all at once. And we really encourage people, if you want to learn how to do this, to let yourself practice it for at least a month okay. before you give yourself a grade. Because you, you got your 20,000 breaths a month, you've got the decades that you've been breathing the way that you do. So if you do it once and it doesn't work very well, don't give up. <laughs> Let yourself <laughs> right. just keep come back to it. There's also, I want people to know, on our website, we have a couple of videos about, about breathing. So they're available to everybody and, and people can go there to get refreshed. Like, what was that breathing thing anyway? They can go there and see the model, they'll see gay breathing, and you can just tune into that and try it out yourself and go, oh, yeah, there you um, I'm noticing part of what's coming up for me in this conversation is really uh, a little embarrassment about being on camera and moving my pelvis. Uh, and, and, and kind of sticking oh. my chest out and coming back and, and uh, realizing how much I have put my body in a box in public oh, mm. because of belief mm. systems or, or fear of what others are going to think or I mean even what's coming up is I know